When I look back over my old videos, the one I feel was the most fun to record was Drawer of Ages Past, which can be found here if you're interested, and I'm hoping to recapture that joy with my bookcase, so let's get started. We're going to start at the very top, and front and centre are these two friendly dinosaurs that my ex-girlfriend gave me. It's okay though, because they're kept in line by these two that my current girlfriend gave me. Then over on the far left, we have this lovely little egg that was also given to me by my girlfriend Sarah, which has, among other things, my name on it. And over on the far right, we have this cool wooden plane that I made when I was like 12 or 13 in school. See, you can tell I made it, because it has my initials on the wing. Moving down a bit, we have what I like to call the Animorphs shelf, for very obvious reasons. I really loved this series as a kid, and in fact it's the only thing of which I still have any kind of poster up in my room. A little bit of trivia for those who don't know, this guy, Elfanger. This guy, Axe. Elfanger Axe. Well actually it's Elfanger's Serenio Sham tool and Ximile has got out this still, but that would have made for a bit of a long username. You've undoubtedly already noticed some of the cool little things on this shelf. For instance, here we have a remote controlled Mario Kart Yoshi, whose receiver is so sensitive that if I leave him switched on, he will literally drive himself off the shelf in response to the various radio waves that are always flying around. Next to him are an origami figure I got free with the video game Heavy Rain and a nice little Christian verse. In the middle is a quake, which I believe is a Celtic thing that people used to drink out of. Then there's a nice little card message that my parents got me at some point, and a tank that I received for either my 18th or 21st birthday, which contains the of thistle that I wore to my school prom. Hidden behind that is this fantastic little guy I made in school. He's supposed to resemble the three original ghost Pokemon and I'll leave it up to you to decide whether or not I succeeded in making him so. One shelf down there's a fair assortment of things. There's Elliot who I believe was given to me by my first girlfriend but there's been some contention about that. Behind him are Eragon and Eldest which I still haven't read because my parents bought me them after we'd been to see the Eragon film which I found so bland that I can't help but hold out very little hope for the books. Oh look, it's that book what I read some proverbs from that one time. I've no idea what this Jacobite trilogy is, it doesn't belong to me. And then there's the Bartimaeus trilogy which is very, very good. This little duck was given to me by Sarah and it's a reference to the church youth event at which we met. Golden Duck Award, presented to Ewan Patterson for being the coolest dude ever who makes me very 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 smiley, and then a smiley face to indicate the very very smiley that I make her. Yay. Right in the middle here is a gnome that was also given to me by Sarah as a reference to the video game Fable 3 which I was really really into at the time. I now despise it but that's another story. The gnomes in Fable 3 say a wide variety of very mean things and this one is capable of playing any recorded message so every now and again I'll give it a new one to say. Charming, isn't it? And here we have another little thing that was given to me by Sarah, this time in reference to Dragon Age Origins, because I love Dragon Age Origins. And as you can see behind them is my very inconsistently bound Harry Potter collection with Alan Mustafka's YouTube book on top. Over on the far right we have a pair of scurvy sea dogs and a lighthouse. I don't really know why they're there to be honest, they just kind of appeared one day and they haven't moved since. This red thing is a lovely photo album my ex gave me on my 21st, and finally there's the Wind on Fire trilogy which is pretty darn good. And now we're low enough for me to sit down, which is fantastic! Starting on the far right here we have this badass looking Gengar, a tip in the middle of Ember and this weird looking orange guy. I actually won him as part of a promotion that McVitie's were running on Jaffa Cakes. The only thing I've ever won in a promotion. The first bunch of books you see along here are part of the Dragon Raiders of Perrin series by Anne McCaffrey. I think it's still going but I haven't read one in a very long time. Then we have this gigantic panda who is wearing my pendant and he is quite clear that he is in fact a panda and he is very happy about it. Behind him are two series by the author of Animorphs, K.A. Applegate, Remnants and Everworld, which again I'm fairly certain there are a lot more of than I have and I haven't read either in a very long time. Then there's the post-film publication of The Lord of the Rings, all the trilogy in the one thing, which I got about halfway through before I just couldn't take it anymore. It is so, so boring. But moving on, we have a little collection of Kinder Surprise toys and the Pendragon series, which is yet another of the series which I just stopped reading one day. Why don't we just call this a shelf that time forgot? You see, the thing about me reading books is that while I enjoy it, I feel like it takes a lot of concentration and I get very easily distracted. Well, what are you gonna do? There's nothing too much interesting about this shelf apart from the amazing Lego helicopter thingamajig that's kinda broken and this spinning top that I made when I was in school. Look at it go! Oh, and my ever-important National Cycling Proficiency Badge. We're really delving into the realms of miscellany now. There's a dictionary, Grey's Anatomy, a few books I've never read, some Bibles, some joke books, some Dragon Ball manga, driving theory tests, some other books I don't read, three of the same Dan Brown book, another couple, and Terry Pratchett. As for the items, we have my work pen, Nasher from Dennis the Menace inexplicably flying a plane with a broken propeller, my poker walker, PSP and DS, a couple of old geezers I was given for my 20th birthday to remind me that that meant I was old, and this wonderful little thing. And finally we have the bottom shelf, consisting primarily of really big books that aren't mine and encyclopedias that I haven't read. Well, it's been lovely having you here at my bookcase and I hope we can do this again sometime. Oh, and I know my friend Jeremiah will be wondering, so the Sword of Truth series I read actually belongs to my dad and is kept out here in the hall. Bye!